Christopher Nolan's Interstellar is not yet out, but it's already making waves, even in the scientific community. Uh, to be completely scientifically accurate, Christopher Nolan wanted to have a, an accurate depiction of a black hole. That's when he consulted Kip Thorne, an astrophysicist who previously worked on contact, uh, to help him out with that. So he sent him pages and pages of calculations and equations that uh, Nolan's team was able to input into a rendering software, rendering software uh, to be able to come up with a, an accurate visual depiction and it ended up looking very different from what we might have expected it to look. For instance, um, the warping space around the black hole also warps the aceration disks. So rather than looking like Saturn's rings around a black sphere, it, it creates a halo effect. So we have a more complete view now of what a black hole looks like thanks to a movie. So is this science learning from art? It's very interesting to say the least. Yeah, it looks like, honestly, when I look at it, I see a donut. I don't know why. That's the least scientific thing of all time. Well, it's a but halo. It's, it's circular. A halo. No, it's very pretty. It's, it's nice that we, we have this image of black holes now that's not just mm -hmm. a singular black hole, I guess. So now the, the phrase doesn't really match anymore, but that's okay. And Thorne is saying uh, that this is actually the way nature behaves. They weren't able to do this uh, more visual visualization by themselves before. And this... this uh, the image that was able to be uh, produced will be the basis for a few papers he will be writing in the future, scientific papers. So it's, it's, it's legit, is what I'm trying to tell you. It's very interesting. It's crazy that with all the technology that we're using, you know, with satellites and communicating, communicating across vast distances and getting all this information, that we had to plug it all into the computer that made the street bend up in Inception to really see what was going on. Maybe NASA could use one of these uh, computers and with the software in it as well. It processed a massive amount of data, I believe 800 terabytes, which is insane. It's, it's a lot. So I don't know. I mean, NASA has some great computational software, right. for sure, for sure. But no one was really able <laughs> to visualize how a black hole would look before. We had our ideas. We had our predictions, uh, but inputting all of those calculations resulted in something totally different than what we thought. It's pretty awesome. I like the idea now that more movies have inspired <laughs> what things look like. Like, maybe maybe archaeologists were saw Jurassic Park and they were like, yeah, maybe that's what dinosaurs look like. Or maybe. We, we had no idea before. <laughs> feathers. <laughs> what if we, whoa, oh, and then we found that out. What if they redid the original Jurassic Park and just put feathers on I all would be okay with it, actually. <laughs> I would be like, you know what? Props to you right. for using the data that you acquired for learning more over time. Exactly. That is how learning works, and don't deny it. <laughs> Either way, I just hope we plug more things in this computer, because obviously Christopher Nolan has the best computer of all time. Yeah, plug all the things in. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning of life. Looks like. <laughs> we need to do more research on Christopher Nolan's computer. So this is, I, I love that this was able to happen in such an unexpected way. Let us know what you think about this story below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.